Okay, in this video, we're going to look at this following proposition, which follows from Wilson's theorem. So we want to show that if n is a natural number bigger than 1, then n is prime if and only if n minus 2 factorial is congruent to 1 mod n. So let's recall Wilson's theorem for a prime p, p minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod p, and it has a corollary, uh, which we proved in a previous video, and I've left the proof up here, that if uh, p minus 2 factorial factorial is congruent to 1 mod p. So if we embark on this proof, we'll notice that the forward direction of this proof is uh, covered by the corollary which we did in a previous video which is still on the board. So that means what we need to do is the reverse direction of this proof. In other words, show that if n minus 2 factorial is congruent to 1 mod n, then n is prime. So let's suppose that n minus 2 factorial is congruent to 1 mod n. And let's suppose that a is some number between 1 and n minus 1. And so what we want to show is that the GCD of a and n is equal to 1. So let's put that up here. So want to show the GCD of a and n equals 1. So I'll just verbally do one part of this. So we know that the GCD of n minus 1 and n is equal to 1. So that's a well-known um, <clears throat> fact that you can check on its own. In fact, it's like one of the first things that you check once you learn something about uh, divisibility um, and GCDs. So I'll leave this off. We don't need to check that the GCD of n minus 1 and n is 1. So instead, what we'll do is check for all values a between 1 and n minus 2. Great. So since a is between 1 and n minus 2, and we're given that this product of all the numbers between 1 and n minus 2 is equal to 1, that's what we'll use. And so let's notice the following. So notice that we can write n minus 2 factorial as a times 1 times 2 all the way up to a minus 1 times a plus 1 all the way up to n minus 2. And we know that is congruent to 1 mod n. So in other words, we have found an inverse for a mod n. So let's say that this is equal to b. So all the parts of the product except for a, if we multiply them by a, we get 1. So let's rewrite that. That means we have a times b is congruent to 1 mod n. Great. Now using the definition of congruence mod n, that tells us the following. That tells us that a times b minus 1 equals n times k for some integer k. So let's just recall that if a times b is congruent to 1 mod n, it means that n divides a, b minus 1. But that means a, b minus 1 is a multiple of n. Great. But from there, we can rewrite this so we can put 1 on one side of the uh, equation. So we get a times b minus n times k is equal to 1. But now, again, I'll do this verbally, but recall that all linear combinations of a and n are multiples of the GCD of a and n. So what that means is that 1 is a multiple of the GCD of a and n. In other words, the GCD of a and n divides 1, which tells us that the GCD of a and n and n is in fact equal to 1, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So again, let's summarize. What we have is that all numbers between 1 and n minus 1 are relatively prime to n, 
but that's exactly uh, saying that n is a prime number. Um,